everyone. I am very happy to welcome you to the new edition of Outlook, the official English language program of Ludovica TV in the new year of 2022. We are very happy to meet all our international students and staff on campus and we truly hope that this new year is going to be more peaceful and joyful than the former ones, mainly from the aspect of the COVID-19 pandemic. This time I would like to introduce you uh, at our studio, our guest scholar, Ms. Casey Golding, who is visiting uh, us through the Fulbright program. Ms. Golding, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Uh, first, I would like to ask that uh, as long as I know you have a West um, uh, international experience, um, and could you tell us some words about your professional background? So I started my bachelor's at the University of Louisville in Kentucky back in the U.S. with a uh, focus on European politics. And then I came over to Europe to actually study European politics in the EU. Uh, I went to KU Leuven in, Bel uh, in Belgium, right outside of Brussels, um, studied transatlantic security policy there. Uh, COVID hit. I ended up going back to the United States uh, and waited out COVID in the U.S., where I did a lot of nonprofit work in global poverty, um, different international policies, uh, and then applied for Fulbright and came here. And now I am in Budapest. Wonderful. And how and why did you decide to come to, to Budapest exactly? Why, why to Budapest, to Hungary? So my background is, is very Western Europe. European heavy. Um, I spent time in London, I've spent time in Belgium, uh, and I've always had an affinity towards Central and Eastern Europe. Every time I've traveled over here, I've just really felt more of a connection. And my actual um, research is on transatlantic energy cooperation, and the V4 is a major player uh, within that sector. So I wanted to actually come here to study it rather than stay more in the, the Brussels bubble. And of course, Budapest is just perfect in general. Ah, I see. It's wonderful. And what were your expectations to Hungary? You, you mentioned that you've been here before, just like a tourist with, as a visitor. Did you have any expectations? Yeah, I remember when I first came here, I was absolutely terrified. I loved the city, but it was overwhelming because um, anywhere in Central and Eastern Europe, that's the first time I've ever had exposure to a country where English was not uh, an official language. Um, so walking around trying to navigate the metro, which is not a thing in Florida, was very intimidating. So I was a little scared to get acclimated. Um, but then being here, it's so easy to get around. It's so easy to meet people, um, to really learn about the city. Uh, so it's been a, a very easy transition. Okay, so you have a nice impression. Yes. And uh, you have picked up some words in Hungarian? As well. A few, a very <laughs> slow, painful <laughs> process. <laughs> Hungarian is very difficult, but I think it's important to try uh, at least to learn a little bit while I've been here. Okay. And have you met any American or foreign uh, students or staff at our university yet? Um. A kind of. I mean, Adrian uh, has lived abroad. Um, I've been working with uh, Balaj, who mm -hmm. is Hungarian, but has it seems very American in nature because of his studies. Um, so mostly Hungarians here at the university, just because I came at a time when students were kind of leaving. Um, but I'm excited to get to learn about more international students in the coming semester. And then outside of the university, I've had a lot of encounters with different international students in general. Wonderful. And what are your impressions of Ludovica as a university? Just your wow. first impressions. It's very impressive. I didn't have any really preconceived notions about the university um, before coming here uh, until actually I, I met with you and got my first tour of the campus. But it's really quite impressive and definitely a university I would have been interested in if I would have been in Hungary as an undergraduate student, just in the civilian international policy aspect, the connection with uh, you know, the government. It's a really, really cool institution with a lot of history to it. Wonderful. And we have some sports all around. Which is perfect, right up my alley. And the park is beautiful. Yes. <laughs> first real experience was the race that we did, yes. which was so much fun. The Central European running race. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, it's awesome. And how would you 
What would you say to Hungarian students who are thinking about going abroad? What would you suggest them to, to prepare to think about? Um, well, first of all, I would say go for it. Um, I think with my experience, some of the most pivotal experiences I've had in my education were when I forced myself to go outside of my comfort zone and experience something new, whether that was with London, Belgium, or now here in Hungary. Um, definitely think about it early. It's good to plan because these are big endeavors to take part in. Um, and the other thing is don't, because I know when I was looking into it, um, cost is obviously a big factor for studying abroad or inter any international experience. Um, but don't let that be a deterrent because typically where there's a will, there's a way and there's a lot of money out there and a lot of people willing to help you to get involved um, and help you actually pursue these opportunities. So do it, but start early. Yes, and there are these mobility programs, for instance, Fulbright as yes. well. The Fulbright office is very helpful in and Budapest. And, and Education the... USA is another great resource um, for anyone interested in studying in the United States, whether it's a, an exchange program or an actual degree, bachelor's, master's, a professional degree program. Um, I actually work for Education USA as a volunteer, so I've helped numerous Hungarian students with their applications to the United States. It is wonderful. And you said you were ready to, um, to hold held such a lecture at our university as well to, yes. to a person, uh, Hungarian students to go abroad yes. and to take <laughs> the opportunity. Uh, wonderful. So what are your plans for the future? Um, so now it's uh, getting reacclimated to the university, um, planning for the presentation um, to introduce students to different study opportunities in the United States or really just abroad in general. Um, and then also I'm continuing my research uh, on transatlantic energy security. So I have lots of meetings set up and I'll continue to uh, pursue that. The university has been extremely helpful in, in that area, so maybe we'll see another publication soon. <laughs> Wonderful, yes, we hope so. <laughs> and you are going to return to the U.S. in the end of the school year? Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> if I do, I'll be going to law school. Um, but I haven't shut the door on staying in Hungary for, for a little bit of extra time. Uh, like I said, I, I really do love it here, so we will see where everything ends up. <laughs> Thank you for our audience, for the attention, and we see you next time. Goodbye.